Every refugee uh, had, had a horrible story to tell. Ed Quinn says the line of refugees doesn't end. It's estimated Poland has taken in almost 3 million refugees from Ukraine. 90% of the refugees are women and children. Ed is a photojournalist who grew up in Winchester, covered thousands of assignments in his career, and just returned home from three weeks in Poland and Ukraine. It was the constant, endless stream of, of people and sadness and misery. And these people have all their belongings in one or two suitcases. They have their kids with them. They're towing them from uh, Eastern Ukraine into Europe and they're, they're exhausted. Even though air raids were the norm inside Ukraine, Ed took hundreds of photographs and videos. But his trip turned into a humanitarian mission helping feed thousands of Ukrainians who are now homeless. But all they can think about is one thing. And they also wanted to go back to Ukraine as quick as they could. Ed says it is 90% women and children who make up the refugees. They're worrying about the men in their family, their sons, their fathers, their brothers who are fighting. And uh, they have to deal with that too. Speaking of fighting, Ed ran into former U.S. Marines, now on the ground, volunteering for the Ukraine military. They had seen action. They had fought directly against Russian troops successfully. Late today, Ed spoke to his contacts inside Ukraine and Poland. They said the biggest need on the ground other than food is now flak jackets and helmets to help with artillery shelling. I also asked him, would he go back to Ukraine? He said yes, but he said that decision is now up to his children.